Welcome along to the show and our Super Rugby review this week with the Highlanders and Crusaders fought out surely the best match of the season across the entire competition. That contained more drama than the complete works of William Shakespeare with 20,000 fans there to witness. Not quite the same atmosphere at the Hurricanes' one-sided affair over the Chiefs. The Blues couldn't rein in the Sharks and one of the few close encounters of the round. The Waratahs thumped the Rebels, the Bulls likewise over the Brumbies. No problems either for the Force though it did take a little while longer to tame the Lions. The the Stormers are finding form at the wrong end of the season this week at the expense of the Cheetahs. Four tries uh, and a lot of ticker to come back in that last 20 minutes. Um, and a lot of that was used off the bench. The energy those boys brought and um, the accuracy and the simplicity of what we did in the last 20 minutes really put us in a chance to win the game. That's the hallmark of the season, isn't it? It's an entire squad effort to keep you in matches. Yeah, we're, like, we're down to, uh, what is it, our fourth hooker. Um, and he did bloody well. You know, and when you can use a guy like that to come on and add the value that he did, yeah, you, you're dead right. We, it's a squad thing. Richie McCaw was phenomenal for them tonight in terms of the breakdown. Um, he put a lot of pressure on our ball and turned a lot of ball over. So We're always looking for big game players. Yeah, Malachi Fikatoa stepped up yet again. We talk about him every week, but that was some intense pressure he was under tonight to perform. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he, he lives at most days at training. He puts... Um, he asked that, that question of himself most days with his intensity at training, so it's, it's hats off to him. He prepares himself that way and he plays that way accordingly, so uh, he's, he's a pleasure to have. Well, we don't speak about much as Kane Holmes and, and the effort he's put in. He's grown immensely, hasn't he, in a few months? Yeah, well, if you look at him, you know, like a lot of people talk about Malakai um, in terms of debut rookie year, well, Kane Holmes is exactly the same. He hasn't had a lot of experience at ITM Cup level to be thrown in and perform the way he does in the set piece, but also around the field um, is, is a credit to him. The effect on the table, not too damaging. Picked up a couple of points, very, very uh, in touch still. Yeah, absolutely. Um, need to, uh, again, like last week, we need a couple of results to go away and just to, to stick in there and keep close and, um, and keep keep our hopes alive and chances alive, yeah. A bag of points next week would be a, just a nice end to the, the second part of the season. Yeah, I, we'll have to be smart how we do that um, with our selection and you know we've got a couple of couple of days of um, turn, turn our minds and, and bodies around and then we get on the plane on Wednesday and Reds are a side that have got nothing to lose and we've come up against a few of those sides this year and stumbled a couple of times so like I say we have to be smart how we approach that game. But you can't take the crowd with you. They'd be outstanding. Uh, phenomenal tonight. Yeah, lucky to get away with it really, but uh, yeah, I think we dug deep and we probably played the better rugby for the majority of the game, so it would have been disappointing to lose. But um, yeah, I think just this competition shows that it's pretty tight and any team can win those tight ones. And just happy to come out on the right side of it, Tom. It did look like you had your nose in front, but couldn't quite get on top of them and subdue them. Yeah, I think that's just a reflection of the Highlanders. They're a gutsy, tenacious side and um, they've got a good spirit as well. So they're never going to let us get out uh, too far and they, they dug in for everything. So uh, they certainly made it a, a tough tussle for us. And is the day back to his best? Yeah, it's great to have Izzy back on the field. I think it was the right thing to freshen him up last week and uh, he's got over a couple of little niggles. So um, it's good to see him in a, in a counter-attack mode as well and well, well supported from the guys around him. I thought as a unit the back three worked really well. I thought Jordan was outstanding tonight. Um, he just has got, he's got pace and good ball skills and a hard worker. He is a hard worker, um, he's really matured I think over the last couple of years and I think just having a consistent run of game time has really helped Geordie's game so um, yeah, it's good to see him out there and he certainly adds a nice dynamic to our mix. And a big risk everyone was saying, we're in the front row but the guys who started, they, they delivered for you. Yeah, well, two of the props scored tries so I think they'll be pretty pretty happy with that. Um, I'm surprised you took them off. Yeah, well, it, was, it was nice to get those guys out there. They, they showed a lot of enthusiasm early on as well, so the energy was great uh, right across the team. It was well led by the guys who um, haven't, you know, aren't our regular starters, I suppose. And, and then uh, when we need a bit of composure around set piece, uh, the big boys come on and, and uh, did the job there. I think we've probably played some of the best rugby we've played all year um, in that game, and, and probably the Highlanders did as well, so it was uh, a pretty even contest. It's a great atmosphere here, isn't it, when Canterbury play Highlanders, because there's, there's a good fan base from both. Oh, it's outstanding. I think the roof makes a massive difference. You know, people aren't worried about getting wet, and uh, the ball's dry too. So I think the spectacle uh, is much better because the balls move around a little bit. Um, two sides that want to play a bit of footy. So um, yeah, hopefully, uh, we might have to bank one of these stadiums up up our way uh, some stage over the next few years. It'd be great. We always knew it was going to be like that. Crusaders are a, a class outfit, and um, plenty of All Blacks. And I mean, 
we were up for the challenge and, and so were they and it was yeah it was a tough old battle and there, there'll be some sore bodies tomorrow for both sides I'm sure. The scrum was um, a little bit contentious at the start we oh, I don't know there's a bit of a feeling out period with the new rules and and the pressure comes on so early now so just getting used to those little uh, intricacies is, is the biggest thing but yeah we sorted that out and then it, it, it came right. Inside word and all the tension there was um a few, uh, a few tense moments. Yeah, well, I guess it's just that that's the way it is amongst the New Zealand teams. You know, it's um, they're always really hard fought battles, and uh, there's no love lost between mates. And um, it was it was certainly like that tonight. But yeah, they give as good as they get. Was the plan to have a drop goal at any stage? Uh, you kept pushing away at the line late. Yeah, well, I think Quasi was back in the pocket a couple of times. We probably we probably weren't quite. Um, out, out right out in front apart from when we spun it wide and, and scored that try in my eyes um, but uh, yeah I, I think it's always in the back of our mind and we, we do we do have a strategy for that but they obviously we saw an opportunity and uh, yeah like I said in my eyes I thought it was a try and, and uh, probably a little bit uh, a little bit robbed I guess we're a really proud outfit and we'll, we'll work hard for each other all day and that's um, that's one thing we really want to show our fans and is that we're, we're going to go to the 80th minute we might not be the um, classiest players on, on paper but we're real gutsy guys and we'll, we'll work our asses off for each other and, and for this, for this uh, proud franchise. You put the hard work in up front, the backs are paying you back in kind. Some lovely tries scored. Yeah, I, I think that set piece try is always really pleasing from a, a, a Ford's point of view when you win them clean line out ball and then they score a nice try out wide. It's, it's really nice to lock up and, and just run and give the boys a high five. So, yeah, they're doing their job. We're trying to do our job as best we can. and. We seem to be complementing each other pretty well at the moment. We're still in the mix and um, that's exciting and, and we just, like, like we've been doing all year, we'll just go onto the Reds now, refocus, get right the wrongs that we did uh, tonight and then uh, yeah, look to, look to get a win over in, um, in Brisbane before we, we uh, knock off for the June break. It was a good spectacle but it, yeah, it certainly felt like it. Uh, you know, they threw everything at us, at us and, um, and we did the same, you know. Um, to be fair, they, they really dug it out and st stuck with us the whole game. We couldn't pull away and um, it was in a, within an inch of winning. So, uh, I mean, they can feel hard done by, but um, they came so close. But um, we were pretty stoked to get, get the win there. Tidied a few things up in the sheds at half-time. We just sort of said if we can get through a few phases, uh, we reckon we can crack them and just back ourselves. And, um, you know, and, and we did that, uh, but we just didn't for long enough periods. And, and like I said, uh, we couldn't really pull away from them. They, they were always in the game and just made it really tough for us. But, uh, you know, again, just absolutely stoked to get the win. Then on dollar, he stepped up today, didn't he? A hard man to stop. Oh, he's been fantastic for us this year and uh, he's, adding, he's adding a lot out there. And, um, yeah, sort of, I'm glad he's on my team and uh, I'm not the one having to tackle him. It was um, some top-line defence from both sides, wasn't it, protecting you know, Even though a lot of tries were scored, the defence was uh, was right up there. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it is. It's dry weather, I suppose. It's always going to be high-scoring games here. And, um, you know, you know, we scored a lot of tries. Uh, both teams scored, you know, combined for a few tries. But, you know, the defence was tough for, for uh, most of the game. And... Um, Especially that last five minutes, you know, I'm really proud of the guys. They dug deep there, and um, and we and they couldn't get over the line there. Um, it really it shows a lot about our character, I think, and uh, we'll take that going forward. Where's your heart and mind in that last second in the review? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Like, that's, you know, it was just so um, such a 50-50 call, I suppose. And obviously, I wanted the win. Um, but, you know, I've been I've been with them, and I know how desperate they are to, um, you know, to win these games. But. Um, yeah, look, just absolutely stoked. Obviously, we uh, we wanted it to go that way, and um, yeah, it was just lucky that it did. You'd be happy with what you've achieved this year. I mean, did you think you'd be back in the All Black so um, All Black frame so so quickly? Um, I mean, yeah, I, I believe in myself, and I've had a good pre-season, and um, you know, I'm back playing some um, consistent footy and just enjoying being injury-free and um, and playing with a great bunch of lads. So. Um, you know, it's just, it's you know I back myself, but um, you know it's great to be recognised, I suppose, and be included in the mix, and and um, you know hopefully it continues. And twenty thousand people booing you, not cheering you, Colin. That changed quickly, didn't it? Yeah, there's a few <laughs> chants that I didn't really appreciate going out there too, just quietly. But uh, yeah, don't expect anything less here. You know, we've got a great atmosphere. The students really add to it, and certainly something I miss, to be honest. The Brumbies and Chiefs are the big losers this week, dropping flag points and dropping out of the top six altogether. The Waratahs and Crusaders now heading their respective conferences, but only by a whisk. The Highlanders have to settle for sixth. They'll have a game in hand over the Hurricanes. Important to note, teams tied on the same points are separated first by the number of wins, then by points differential. Hence, the force are in fourth spot. The Chiefs' demotion is not fatal, but wins are plenty required now. The Blues need the same, plus luck elsewhere. Even this far out, the Cheetahs, Lions and Rebels are now officially out of finals contention.